Okay, we want to talk about independent and dependent variables in this case. Functions have two variables involved. One of those variables is always going to depend on the other. Most of the time, x is the independent and y is the dependent variable. For example, if you look here at the table that I drew for you, I chose replacements for x, the independent variable, and I substituted them in and got the values for y. Very easy. However, x is not always the independent variable. For example, if I'm talking about cost and number of items produced, let's use C and N respectively. Don't have to use x's and y's. Now, implicitly defined, these are harder. Sometimes functions are written in the form ax plus by equals a c. Consider the following problem. I'm planning a party. I have $24 to spend on refreshments. Soft drinks S cost $4 for 12 cans, and chip C cost $3 a bag. Write the function for purchasing refreshments for the party. Okay, the function would be 4 times soda plus 3 times chips equals 24. Which variable is independent? Stop the video at this point and think about it. Now, Let's look. Let's suppose that I say that chips are going to depend on soft drinks. So we're going to solve for C. C is going to eat eight, e equal 8 minus 4 thirds S. Soft drinks depend on chips. So we're going to solve for S. And when we do that, we get 4S equals 24 minus 3C, or S equals 6 minus 3 fourths C. Either way will work.